thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in. We're tracking Winter Storm Izzy, and um, we actually have a chance at Winter Storm Conditions in Columbia, South Carolina on Sunday for the first time in a long time. Um, our last um, Winter Storm Watch was all the way back in 2014, and now for this um, possible storm, we have a Winter Storm Watch in effect for Columbia, South Carolina, including Lexington and Richland counties. Um, they're, they're both in, within the watch area. Um, let's take a look at the basic scenario we're going to see. Um, we're going to have what's called a cold air damming scenario. This is when um, you get a cold high pressure system up here, like in, you know, up here and um, uh, in, in, around, you know, in and around the northeast area. You get the high pressure system that funnels down cold air um, up and along the Appalachian Mountains and you get a cold air wedge and it's going to bring a um, a shallow layer of cold air at the surface and then if you can get a low pressure system involved um, well you can have winter storms if it's cold enough and we're going to see a low pressure system in the southeast and it's going to combine with the cold air and um, that's going to end up causing a possible winter storm now one caveat with this is, is when you have the low pressure system down there, you know, if it's strong enough, it can bring in um, a layer of warm air up and over the shallow layer of cold air at the surface. So that's kind of like, um, like warmer air higher up in the atmosphere. Um, this is called um, the warm nose. And when that happens, it can really complicate matters with the type of precipitation. And that's what we're going to look at now with this graphic. Um, to get snow, you need the full column of air from the ground to the clouds. You need that to be cold. Um, it, you know, it, it needs to be below freezing, um, you know, all the way up, you know, um, to get the snow to come down all the way to the ground. So on the far right of the graphic, you can see, well, that's how you get snow. It's cold all the way, cold all the way through. But, there, but if you look at the other ones, you can see um, different types. We have sleet. If there's like a little bit of warm air higher up, you know, the snow will melt. But then it's going to refreeze. Um, it's going to refreeze after going through the warm layer, and it's going to come down to the ground as sleet. Now, when you have freezing rain, you have more warm air to deal with in the upper layers. And what happens is the rain falls through, I mean, the snow falls through and melts, but then it's going to refreeze on the ground as um, ice um, because, you know, it doesn't, it, it's not able to freeze back, you know, into sleet. It's just going to come down as rain, um, but then at the surface, it's going to refreeze, and that's when you get the ice on the ground. And then, of course, if it's warm all the way through, well, then you get rain with that situation. So, this is what has been tricky about this um, forecast is what kind of precipitation types. Because just a few degrees can make a lot of difference, not only at the surface with the freezing line, but also higher up as well. So, let's take a look at the NAM model to get a little bit of an idea of what's going on. Um, let's go to Sunday morning. Um, you can see, well, you have the cold, air dam the cold air damming wedge in place with the low pressure system coming in. And you can see over Columbia, it does have freezing rain for Sunday morning. Um, so that's going to accumulate and cause some issues. It's also going to be a little windy as well. So, um, it looks like the winds can be as high as around 30 miles per hour with higher gust. So that also makes situ the situation um, worse in terms of power outages. Um, you know, anytime you have freezing rain, you could see power outages. And the fact that it will be windy will make that worse as well. Um, also, we, are going, um, we will see um, bad road conditions um, with this. It's going to be hard to travel on the roads in this ice. Now, this model does have, you know, a little bit warmer air coming in, and it looks like, you know, a little bit later on, you know, maybe later in the morning or in the afternoon, everything changes the rain, like, you know, regular rain in Columbia, as it looks like we'll get above freezing, and, um, and then we just have some rain um, coming through. 
Now, I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, maybe later in the afternoon or in the evening, as you can kind of see here on the back side of the system, there's some light moisture on the back coming through. There could be some snow showers or snow flurries that try to come through and, you know, the the um, upper air columns would support snow at that point later on. So it could end as a little bit of snow flurries or snow showers um, like that. Okay, so um, again, a winter storm watch is in effect. And right now we expect um, about a quarter of an inch of ice um, in Columbia, South Carolina with the system um, on Sunday morning. And then, you know, later on it would change over to rain. And then um, as it warms up a little bit, um, and then in, um, during the, you know, later afternoon and evening, we could maybe see some snow flurries or snow showers. Um, but, you know, probably no accumulation from that. Um, it looks like this will be mostly um, ice accumulation um, and mostly an ice event. Um, so, but it is interesting that we're going to finally see some winter weather again after waiting for a long time because the last time, you know, we had a winter storm watch again was all the way back in 2014. So, just continue to keep an eye out for this. Um... This is the best thinking right now, but this could always change very quickly. Um, when you're, when you, you know, anytime you're in this situation, you have to watch the temperatures carefully. You know, um, you know, just how strong is the warm air aloft? You know, that's important to track. And also, where is the freezing line on the ground? You know, that's where that's you know the the surface. You know, we have to track where that freezing line is and and how it meanders and how it changes throughout the day. Um, you know, because any changes in the temperatures could mean, you know, a different situation. You know, it could be, it could mean more ice, it could mean less ice. So, um, we do have to track the temperatures carefully. Um, but this is the best thinking right now. Um, continue to keep an eye out for this and just, just prepare, um, for possible power outages and also, um, hazardous road travel. All right, everybody, thank you for tuning in.